Hey everybody, it's Jenny. Um, I'm back with, uh, I actually have a project today and it's not just a haul video. So um, I just wanted to share something that I worked on yesterday and I've been wanting to do this for quite some time now. Um, ever since I saw Tammy, who's SS Crafter One on YouTube, um, she did a tutorial for Wild Orchard Crafts and she got some of these, I guess, safety pins from Michaels. Um, but we don't have a Michaels here in Hilo. So what I did was I bought some um, of these safety pins. They're really big. Um, they're much bigger than I thought they were going to be. But I got I ordered them from Amazon, I think. Anyway, so um, when I got them in, I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it. I wasn't sure if I was going to still make it because it's quite larger than the one she used on her video. But... It's just sitting here, so I thought, oh, I might as well just try and do what um, she taught in her tutorial. So um, what Tammy did was she got the, the safety pin, and she used um, her, I think she used Versamark, and then you just kind of press the, um, the safety pin into the ink so it gets coated, and then you use your um, frontage. So I got this starter pack, which is, um, there's shabby pink, shabby white, shabby blue, and then there's like a gold and then a darker gold. So, or vintage kind of gold. Anyway, so, um, I just sprinkled it on and then I heat set it and then they actually came out pretty cool. So, um, let me just kind of share with you what I did. Um, this is the shabby pink. It's kind of hard to see here. I know you can't really see the color too well. Um, this is the shabby white. The shabby white has like gold flecks in it. And this is one of the golds. This one actually came out really nice. This is the other gold, which is more the vintage looking. And this is the shabby blue. I know it's really hard to see, but in the regular light you can see it. Um, and then I just, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do to decorate over here. Um, and I, I wanted to actually dangle like a chain or something, but maybe I'll do that later on. Um, this is just my first prototypes. So I had a package of old Prima roses that it was sitting in my supply for a long time. So I wanted to use that up. Um, so I just uh, added extra glitter. Like it had glitter already, but then I don't know if you can tell. I added extra glitter. Um, it, it was actually a uh, iridescent type of glitter, so I used my old Faithful Stampin' Up um, Dazzling Diamonds glitter. And I just added, I just brush on some glue and then I add the glitter onto it from there. So this is the only one that I use a different glitter. I think you can tell it's a little more chunkier looking. And this is again my other favorite, which is the Martha Stewart Holidays Coarse Glitter. Um, so anyway, and then I just kind of propped it up a little but here on the back you can see that I just cut a small circle out of cardstock and then I inserted it in between the, um, the pin head, I guess, with the hot glue and then I used this as the backing. So that's how I did all of them. So the gold one I just added a, like a peachy pink rose. The pink one obviously is a peachy pink rose. And then the white one. I don't know what color this is. I thought it was a gray, but it kind of looks like a green, a light, light green color. Again, I know it's hard to see in this light, but anyway, I just wanted to thank Tammy for that great tutorial. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. So um, if you have some of these, you might want to give it a try. And now I'm thinking, you know, if I can frontage the safety pins, I can probably frontage other stuff. So um, we'll see what else I can come up with. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll link Tammy's video below. Um, see you in the next video. Bye!